All right, welcome to Mai Tai Gaming, continuing our campaign in the Grand Tactician Civil War uh, using the AOM mod. The last episode saw a major defeat around Springfield with us pulling our forces back to Fort Smith to recover. Uh, those are still in fairly beat up status readiness is not that good um, at all uh, on the other hand we did have Crittenden and the Army of Eastern Tennessee hold the Cumberland Gap against Don Carlos Buell uh, managed to score a pretty decent victory there however there are two more uh, enemy armies divisions um, marching our way I don't know that we would be able to hold against them. We've still got uh, about a month before we get Rutgers Legion and the 31st Tennessee, even though those aren't large formations. Um, at the very least, we have got our first taste of battle. I think it's important that we... Um, Maybe do some upgrading here. Uh, since, oh, since this is going to be um, a unit that's going to see quite a bit more action. Uh, department, oh, are they in Kentucky? Hmm. I guess they have crossed the border. Okay. Uh, which is probably why the Union's going after them. Pull some Mississippi rifles. Let's get uh, trying to get some uh, edge on range, uh, possibly on rate of fire. Just trying to get a general improvement here. Uh, Sharps carbines, yes. And first Confederate States cavalry. We've got Maynards, which are definitely good. Um, oh, what do we want to use? 290 yards and seven rounds a minute. I think that's uh, all north model 1843 carbine. That seems like a pretty good little weapon. Um, and then they have 12 pounder Napoleons already, even though those are the, the, uh, the iron versions. So we've at least uh, increased our battle effectiveness there. We're still moving Yule into place, getting depot built around Fredericksburg. Uh, let's see, Department of Richmond. Definitely, I don't think... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build a fort right there. I like that idea. Um, okay. Now, the Army of the Northwest needs to pull back. And then we'll move Johnson out once that depot's built. And let's go ahead and start the timer. And, yep. All right, so now we are playing against Bull Nelson. Um, very similar numbers again. Um, we do have some demoralized units, two brigades. Let's hope that they do not uh, affect us too much. All right. Battle of Cumberland Gap, part D. All right, looks like exact same set as last time uh, so we'll probably set up uh, in here again yep uh, let's go ahead and zoom in uh, I like that <coughs> uh, I need to get some range Maybe up here? 
Actually, that's not bad. All right. So it looks like the 4th Tennessee Carroll's Brigade are the ones that are a little bit nervous. So I'm going to set them on our left. I'm going to count on Wathal's Brigade. Oh, Knoxville Brigade, too. All right. So I'm going to kind of set this as our stronger position um, on our right, and then the weaker position on our left and center. Just because I think, once again, they'll probably come down this road, which means they're more likely to strike our right than our left. Um, uh, it's just not giving us very good... Placing artillery in this kind of environment, that may be the best I'm going to get. Alright. So, once again, I'm going to set, actually, I'm going to move these guys here, these guys further out. Alright. Um, I don't think we'll be able to build much, but I would love to get nothing. Okay, um, I'm going to try to go ahead and build that with these two brigades. See what happens there. I'll leave you guys mounted. Come on. All right, I do hear... Okay, they're moving forward. Let's uh, speed things up, see where the Union comes in. Hopefully I can get uh, this breastwork finished. be back. Oh, here they come. Um, Alright, cannons have opened up. We're kind of... Alright, let me get... Alright, I need these two pieces completed. Um, if the Union holds off, I'll take it. Speed things up just a tiny bit more. They're hitting the ground. And if we get this breastwork completed, that might give us uh, the advantage we need. Uh, while we're at it, let me go ahead and make sure we've got long range, because I switched those weapons up to make sure that we could take advantage of it. Yes, move, and then move like that. Okay. And then once this unit is finished, we'll put them on this side. All right, their infantry is coming into view. I mean, the best scenario I can hope for is a frontal assault against the breastworks. I don't think we'll get that lucky. Uh, Bull Nelson's definitely moving up all of his troops. Looks like he's going to be more coordinated than Don Carlos Buell was, perhaps. Which is not good for us. Artillery's opening up. Oh! Uh, we've got... Uh, The East Tennessee Brigade, 1,500 men, and our boys are going to open up on them at distance from behind cover. Two men lost. Okay, come on. Grow a pair. There's still really... Oh, 
Okay, they're advancing everything else, so the, the fight's on. I'd love to know why these gents are not in cover. Okay. Alright, first Kentucky regiment's advancing. Four men. They lost four out of eighty. All right, we got two brigades opening up on them. Let's dismount this group. Um, first cavalry opening up. They're going to fire seven rounds a minute, which is at least twice as fast as the enemy. And let's go ahead and get Carol's Brigade. Um, if that's... Okay. Army of, the Kentu Army of Kentucky. All right, we've opened up uh, from two sides on these boys. Oh, yeah. Get rid of that. Um... I get rid of that as soon as I notice it. Shows you how often I look at it anyway. Uh, I need to keep up fire. Come on. Alright, they're gone. Um, okay, they're retreating. Still going to mount up my cavalry. I don't know if this is even a good idea. But I want to charge in. At least try and take out some of their... Oh, yeah. So we took out some of their guns. Um, 450 to 151 casualties, which is what we needed. Uh, let's go ahead. Combat report. Uh, looks like 1st Confederate Cavalry definitely had... Uh, Hell of a day. 150 casualties. Let's see. Condition. Broken. Um, so the t our best unit right now might be the one that we need to uh, worry the most about. 16% casualty rate. Yeah. Um, they are, do have the experience point. But yeah. They're the ones we're going to need to worry about if we get hit a third time. Alright. So, pretty decent victory. Captured 155 rifles, 7 guns. Um, Crittenden has become a national hero. That being said, so we've defeated Department of the Ohio, Army of Kentucky. I think the only one we have left is the Department of Columbus. Or, no, the one we have left is Department of the Ohio with 2,000 approximate men. Um, this is our force. I think we're in good shape. Overall, um, just got to worry about those cavalry regiments. Let's go ahead and, uh, yep, they're still coming. Uh, so, yeah, 2,000 versus 33. Two brigades with only 505 men, so it's probably the artillery and the cavalry, um, which is okay. Um, I'm okay with that. Battle number three of Cumberland Gap. Um in less than 10 days. I don't know that this is necessarily three separate battles at this point. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're same thing. The only difference is this time, uh, our forces are a lot more experienced. We're going to set up here again. Um, who's... Okay, yeah. Uh, they're unstable, so I want to put them on this hill. Uh, maybe 
This hill? Yes, that hill. Actually, let's go ahead and set up both our artillery. Uh, yeah, that seems to have pretty good coverage. Okay. Um, and then we'll set the cavalry we don't want to have engaged for Tennessee and first CS. Yeah, so this is the unit that's really been beat up. They do have their first battle star. So they are greenhorns as opposed to raw units. But we want to kind of keep them out of the action. Um, I'd much rather have these three infantry regiments uh, take the brunt of this one. Uh, once again, let me get long range on our rifles. because We've got uh, Derringers, Mississippis, and Mississippis. Uh, these boys are all confident. Where's our artillery? Unstable. Stable over here and unstable. I don't think they're going to come after our cavalry that's pretty high up. This would be a slow assault uh, into artillery. So I, I would imagine they're going for our three infantry brigades. I would imagine. Um, yeah. Almost an identical third battle. I don't expect this uh, Brigadier General Mitchell to do anything different. Except for he's got a smaller force than we've been facing. Alright. Uh, first two units both look like cavalry. We've opened fire on one of them. Oh yeah. yeah we're shown as a minor defeat. I do not believe the statistics. We should be able to pull this one out. All right. Um, I don't know if Fourth Ohio. Okay. Maybe move these guys. That's they're still not going to be able to hit anything. I'll move them up the hill a little bit. Um, so they aren't shooting through the infantry. We're still at... Oh, they are able to open fire. Beautiful. Um, still at max speed. The day may end before they actually make an assault at this rate. But we should be on the defensive. Unless they sent somebody... Nope. We still have the objective. Because they don't like us having the high ground. Um, can I send forward? No. Scouts, yes. Well, I guess they're not going to get sent forward. Uh, uh, detachment. I guess they're not going to go forward. Okay. Not sure why that's happening. We'll re recall them all the same. Um, move cavalry forward. Yeah, they're still unstable. So I don't want to get these guys into combat. I'm just trying to get eyes on the enemy. Uh, 25 casualties estimated off of our artillery barrage. Yeah, there's they're back to not firing. Um huh. It's late in the day. We'll let our artillery do the work and then we'll set up for an assault on day two of this fight. And let's redeploy with the intent of taking the battle to the gentleman. Is there anywhere I can really set this artillery? Uh, not really. Uh, 
out. Okay. Let's open up. Okay, so they move slightly. Looks like they're moving some skirmishers forward. Forest cover. Um, dismount. You have sharps carbines. I kind of want to get you into action. Move the CS Cavalry out to our wing. Try and spot for the army. Uh, let's speed things along here. Just a touch. Alright, we've got them fully spotted now, finally. Um, Alright. Calvary, move that way. I'm going to go ahead and dismount these gentlemen. They are unstable, but if I can pull them on the flank while the infantry is hitting them, um, I'm not afraid to use them again. The infantry is falling back. Huh. Speed things along, keep advancing. They can't already be falling back. Alright, move them in force, them in force. Alright. I guess they're going to make me chase them. Calvary is routed. These boys are stable. I don't want to use them if I don't have to. You guys are bunched up. Moving in these hills is difficult. Come on. Open fire. These cavalry's with the sharps. Should be able to do good work. Alright. And yeah. Both units routed. No point in chasing them considering half our army is exhausted and demoralized. A um, bit closer, but we had to go to them. So considering it was a, what amounted to an attack, I'll take uh, the less casualties. Um, and we'll go ahead, take a look here. Yeah, low supply. Carroll's Brigade and Caswell Artillery did some good work. Carroll's Brigade definitely did some good work, 5th Tennessee. First CS Cavalry we left out of it, which is what we wanted to do. Those Sharps Rifles, man. They did good. Victory. Uh, Captain McClung has become a national hero. Uh, 97 rifles captured. Let's take a look at him. If I can. Uh, the Confederate Army's unstoppable. Um, yeah, I mean, three straight victories for the Army of East Tennessee and the Cumberland Gap. Let's go ahead. Oh. Um first public weather forecast. Good job to Robert Fitzroy. Looks like Department of Ohio is not moving away. 
let's see here. Which also means, okay, finally. So all three of those gentlemen are in beating a hasty retreat. Um, we've got uh, Battle Carol. Ah, the artillery commander. But he does not apparently get the star. It goes with it. Okay. Um, Crittenden. It's all a coffer. Who knows? Maybe in this timeline they won't die and uh, they'll actually be decent uh, commanders. But yeah, three battles of Cumberland Gap. Um, let's see, what is that? August... First and August second. Wait, I'm August first, August second. Let's see here. August first, August first, August. Oh wow! So yeah, we had, for some reason because of timing they let us be hit by all three of those uh, Union forces in the course of two days separately. Um, I'm not. Sh I know it's because of that river crossing, going into the Cumberland Gap, but uh, that seems kind of crazy. So yeah, uh, we did a number. We held. Um, all right. Let's see how the. I mean, we really haven't had enough time for anybody to uh, recover. Yule's still trying to move north. Okay, uh, we've got Army of Occupation, which is 10,000, going against Jackson, 27 days for Kirby Smith, okay. Um, Yule, when are you, two days, two days, two days. Two days. Um, all right. I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Johnson moving up, and maybe the Army of Northwest can finish that depot. See how this goes. Come on. Oh, then. Where are you going? Army of Shenandoah is 17,000. Um, where are you going? Are they moving their forces wholesale to the west? Um, okay. Uh, let me move Johnson back. Army of the Northwest. I, I need to get some supply. I'm going to send them to Richmond. Stuart. You know, if we captured South Branch, it would disrupt that east-west movement a little bit. All right. Um, AOM, important information um, to get Army reorganization for the Union recruitment bounties and for the CSA Army First Conscription Act. Okay. Um, so that's going to be under policies. Working on Militia Act 2. Um, okay. Rearmy Reorganization and First Conscription Act. So this is a change from Vanilla. Uh, we need to go through Military 2. Uh-huh. So that's at least 170 days away. 
which I'm okay with. I we don't need to do anything immediately. Okay, Department of West Virginia, Department of Indianapolis. Those are the three that just attacked us at the Cumberland Gap. We just lost all semblance of where the Union forces have uh, run off to. Up, oh, Stewart's spotted. Okay, they're in Cumberland, Maryland. Stewart, keep an eye. Uh, you are in. Some no. Hmm. Okay. Yule, almost full. Hill. Okay. Loring. Loring. Oh, what do we got here? What if they're moving towards Carroll or Salem? By the way, once this force is able to regroup, resupply, um, Missouri State Guard is almost ready to go. The Indian Army is pretty much ready to go. Seven days. Yeah, these guys have planes, rifles. They're all mounted infantry. And uh, Western... Western Army still waiting on some Texas cavalry. But should be recovering nicely. And we're in August, so there's only so many more moves the enemy's got. Let's go ahead and move Polk north. Uh, historically, he took positions in near Paducah, in Columbus, Kentucky. Uh, put up some batteries to stop the Union from uh, using river transports. And was run off by Grant. Especially, I believe his largest cannon exploded uh, while he was standing near it, which... M.T. Polk's battery. Um, and I, I believe he was standing near it. Could have changed a lot of things in the Western Campaign if Polk had been seriously injured or killed. I wonder if we have... Well, we do have some 10-pound parrots. 12-pound Blakely's. Only one 20-pound parrot. I'm really tempted for the heavy battery maybe to switch them to the 10-pound parrot over the 24-pound... 24-pound uh, howitzer still larger. Okay. Yeah, let's keep that going. Um, I think we're... At, normally I like to end on a battle. It does seem as though we are not going to come in uh, contact with another Union force anytime soon. And we've had... That being said, I saw flags moving. Let me pull Stuart back. Let's get Yule. Speed this along, see where we're going. And they're going down the river. Back to Washington. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring Stuart back over here to Leesville. Oh, are they going? All right, I have had enough of this. Jackson, Ewell, Stewart. Stewart, what are your weapons? Carbine, revolving, okay. Jackson, First Virginia, Merrill Carbine. Just make sure we've got 
before we go into too much action here, let's upgrade the... Let's get uh, Pelham the Parrots. Let's get him rifled guns. Um, and Yule's Division. Uh, let's see what upgrades we've got. Let's go for some Jameses and some Napoleons. Good enough. Let's upgrade Elsie to Augustines. Tigers are good. Yes, good. Um, let's upgrade you guys. Uh, we don't have any howitzers. So let's say you're a howitzer and Merrill Carbon. Okay. Let's see if we get, if we can force, oh. Oh. Benjamin Kelly, Department of, West. oh. Okay. Um, so while I was looking in one direction, they are attacking the Cumberland Gap with three times, almost four times. Uh, our troops. I don't even think we hold out for this. This force is kind of beat up. Yeah. I think we're going to have to come back with more troops. Let's withdraw. Um, and with that withdrawal, I'm going to call this episode. Um, so a fast series of three victories before they actually kind of get their stuff together and bring on a force three times our size to the Cumberland Gap and the Union now controls it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and leave me comments. Have a good day.